Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today, we got a crazy video for y'all. You know, we film all these fishing videos where we go out and just catch some big fish, throw some cool top waters, throw big swim baits, throw big jigs, worms. But today, we're throwing something a lot different. We're actually fishing with a bird. We fish with snakes, rats, turtles, GoPros, iPhones. We fish with a ton of crazy stuff, but today, it's gonna be the first day that we've ever fished with a bird. So uh, let me show you guys this lure real quick. Then we're gonna hop on the water, see if we can catch some big fish. We're actually bank fishing today. And uh, I think they're gonna end up smunching it. So let's go ahead and get it started. So this is the bird lure that we're using today. It has some black on it. Also has a little bit of red and orange. And this bait just looks kind of crazy. It's got a little mohawk action going on at the top of his head. And uh, I've never thrown anything like this. I'm kind of excited about it. You know, when we film these weird lure videos, they can either be a lot of fun or they can be a pain in the butt. And, you know, you're throwing them for hours. You don't really have any bites and it can be crazy. But, you know, we're going to give it a shot today. Tie her on her rod and try to catch some fish. By the way, I got my boy Fletcher out here today. What's going and, uh, on, guys? We're trying to make it happen. And another thing I wanted to say, we're actually heading out to the Bassmaster Classic. We leave tomorrow morning and we're going to be there in Fort Worth, Texas. So make sure you come see us Friday through Sunday. We'll be at the expo. I want to come meet you guys. I also have some merch I'm going to be giving out. And uh, I would just love to meet a lot of you and shake your hand and talk some fishing. So let's go ahead and hop into today's video. Got my rod and reel over here. Let's tie her up. Try to catch a big bass with old birdie. So the rod and reel that we're using today, this is the Mach 2 rod on a Mach 2 reel. I did that totally backwards. Mach 2 rod on a Mach 2 reel. We got some braid on this bad boy today. You know, you got to throw your top water on braids. That's my favorite. If you guys are wondering about this rod, this is actually the jerk bait um, slash top water rod by Luz. It's a 6'8", medium power, moderate, fast action. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I love this rod for top waters. You can throw like smaller walking baits, like poppers, even some of these lures, like this crazy, crazy bird right here, which is not too heavy. And I was gonna tell you guys too, if you want to check out any of the lures that I use in the videos or any of the rods and you wanna get a discount, I actually have the links in the description box down below with my codes. I can also pop it up here on the screen, lose discount and Strike King discount. So if you guys are looking for the stuff that I'm using, we have links for you now. We're gonna tie this lure up real quick and get it started. I'm just hoping we get a really good one on it today. If you guys are wondering about the conditions, it's actually overcast. Got a lot of clouds in the sky. It was raining a little bit this morning. I think these fish are going to be roaming really good. You know, we filmed a topwater episode out here last week, which if you haven't checked it out, I highly suggest you go check it out. It was wild. But uh, we had similar conditions. So I'm hoping today is very similar to that day. And we just end up getting a couple really good fish on this bird. But that's her tied up. She's ready to go. Mach 2 rod and reel. Let's get it started. All right, so this is the pond that we're out at today. Very clear water, beautiful little spot. They're not super easy to catch out here, so I'm hoping we can get them on this bird. It's just one of those lures that's like, I would never go out of my way to throw. I'm gonna be honest with you, but today, you know, we're gonna get a little crazy with it, give her a shot. So how this pond lays out, it's really shallow, super shallow across the whole thing. I think these bass are gonna be roaming a good bit, but one spot I really wanted to try is right over here in this corner. You got this tiny corner. There's a few trees out here in the middle. Then you also got this bank line right here with all these laydowns. There used to be more laydowns along that bank, but they ended up cutting them down. But we still have this corner. So we're gonna go over here, toss this thing around, see if we can get our first fish. I have no idea how to work this bait. I don't even know how it, I don't even know what it does. So let's throw it in the water real quick. Let's give her a little toss. Oh, look at that. Okay. I like that. So it looks like when this thing gets in the water, I didn't know if you like kind of walked it or if you just reeled it, but if you slowly reel this bait, if you reel it too fast, it's not going to work. What happens is it kind of like jitters like this across the top of the water. These little flaps right here, they start digging in the water like that. So you got to reel it a little slow and that's what gives it all the action. Yeah, that thing kind of looks crazy. It's like I can't cast. It's like it doesn't cast accurately at all. Go to the right. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, oh my gosh, I had one hit it right away. 
and it's it's messed up. Oh, look at that. It's not what you want. It's kind of funny watching this thing come in. It's like it's swimming in the water. It's got some big strokes. It's really hard to cast. Let's see if he eats it this time. <laughs> the bird's butt is literally in the air and it's still swimming somehow. What is going on? All right. Well, one thing I've learned very quick, it's hard to cast and the hooks keep getting tangled up. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Crazy. I'm just ready to get a bite. We had one kind of swirl on it, but I just want to see one just boom, demolish it. Look at that gator. Oh my God, that was a bass. Dude, they're schooling. No, braid. Dude. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Oh, that was so cool. On the bird lure, are you kidding me? And I had to work it a lot different right there. So we just saw this gator on the bank. I was like kind of looking at the gator. All of a sudden, like five foot next to the gator, there's these bass chasing up some bait fish. I threw that bird right there. All of a sudden my braid like kind of messed up. Pulled my braid out a few pumps and popped this thing one time and he just demolished it. Not a big fish by any means, but to catch our first fish on the bird lure. That is just awesome right there. Little fat dude, pretty colors on him too. Thank you, buddy. You're our first bird fish. Here he is, let him swim another day. Oh. There he goes. Wow. What do you think about that, Cody? Uh, never seen a fish caught on a bird before. That dude, that was, really cool. that was the first. That, that was the whole so situation, cool. dude, when we saw that blow up over there. It was, and we've been talking about it. You know, I've been reeling that thing slow. I didn't even do that right there. I threw it up there. I had to mess with my reel. Just give it a little pop. Doof. So today with the clouds out, you know, these bass are roaming a good bit. We're going to walk down this bank, be very stealthy, and see if we see anything with our eyes. <laughs> old gator. Old gator wants him some. Bird. He wants an old bird. Oh my god, he's right there. He's right there. Dang it. He's right there in front of me. Oh, he was right there. <laughs> no, not today. You're not getting my birdie. Not my birdie. I'm gonna get a cast in this corner. Alligator before he gets over here. That gator is bound and determined. No. Hey. Go over there. Do 
trying to distract this gator. Stop it, you weirdo. I think we're gonna end up heading to a new spot. That gator, he's just so angry. He really wants to eat the bird. So we're gonna move ponds here in a moment and see if we can go catch some over there. We just can't do anything with that gator. There's no point in me casting because he just runs right over to the bait. So let's go ahead and head out to the new spot. So we are at pond number two. We're fueled up by our uh, chocolate chip muffins. So we're good to go. By the way, we're leaving out tomorrow morning. So Cody, you gotta remind me. Got to stock up on at least 20 packs of those muffins. All right, I'll call them later and it's make sure. It's the only they way we're going to be hyped for the classic. Yeah, it's that muffin energy, dude. The last time we were here, the frog fishing was unreal. This is actually a little golf course pond. The last one wasn't, but this is a golf course pond. It's pretty good. There's a lot of fish in here, but then again, there can be days where you come out here and they're just not biting. So I'm hoping they eat really good. We got a little bit of wind. When we walked down in this corner last time, there were so many fish, and we started smoking them. So we're going to start right here throw a little bit along this bank then we're gonna walk to the back I think that's where we're gonna put a hurting on by the way I don't have the best shoes on today I busted my butt last time Cody if you want to roll that clip it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun when gators aren't trying to eat your fish <laughs> Yo! <laughs> dude I <laughs> <laughs> you said they, they, lubed up the Dude, grass, they lubed up this grass, bro. <laughs> we can't be doing that today. I don't want to hurt my bosom. Oh my gosh, money. Money. Oh, that's a good one, too, dude. That's not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. Came up and slammed that sucker. Oh. Oh man, that's such a pretty fish too. Look at this fish's markings on that bird lure. Look at that. You gotta love it. You cannot beat that right there. Catching a bass on a bird. I woke up this morning and I'm gonna tell you guys, I was not thinking about throwing a bird lure, but Fletcher had one laying around and I was like, you know what? Let's try something out of the norm today. And uh, let me tell you, that's a lot of fun right there. Pure and beautiful fish. There's a little bit of something hanging out of his booty, but Rather than that, his markings are beautiful on this bass. Pretty colors on them. Awesome lateral line. Nice little fish. Try not to fall this time. Oh my gosh. My knee is actually hurt too. I about just went head first. That's a pretty fish. Second fish today on the bird. That's surprising. So we're gonna keep on heading down here and I think we're gonna get a couple more bites in the back. These fish might be stacked up today. Oh my gosh. Yes. Should be one in this corner, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, he destroyed it. That was such a cool bite. Not big. Not big, but he freaking demolished that thing. Wow, that was the best bite yet. You gotta love topwater fishing. Even when you're fishing with a bird, you gotta love it. You know what's crazy is the last two fish were hooked in the same spot right there. But the hookup ratio seems to be pretty good. I'm, I'm impressed because when you throw like weird baits like that, the biggest thing is, you know, yeah, you can get bites, but can you actually get the hook in them? And that thing so far, we've had three good bites and I caught all the fish, hooked them pretty good. Not a big one, but that's something else. Thank you, bub. Come on, big bass. Destroy it. Dude, they are munching this thing. It's honestly so crazy to me. You're not gonna believe this too. Third fish in a row, he's hooked in the same spot. That's so weird. The front hook just ends up getting him right there in that bottom lip. And look how fat that dude is. Holy cow. I can't believe how 
good they're eating this thing to be honest with you they're eating it better than the frog when i came out that day that's not a big one at all but he's super fat well fat dude get a fat belly see you later buddy all right bird lure you're catching a lot of fish for me but you need to catch me a big one so i like pulled my bait and it wasn't working right and one of the legs were gone so i just had to pluck the other one off it's this little little tiny leg it just wasn't it wasn't shaking anymore it was just kind of gliding across the top i'm telling you it's because that one leg on that side it wasn't balanced out so hopefully it'll ride okay now that i took both those off You know, that one leg came off. I took the other one off. I thought it was going to ride right because technically, you know, it's, I thought it was because it might have been weighed heavier on that one side. But I took both of those legs off and it won't even ride anymore. It's pretty much just gliding across the water like this. You know, before it was kind of shaking like that in the water. Now it's just gliding across. So what we're going to have to do, we only have one of those legs. The other one's probably in the pond somewhere or in the fish's belly. So. What we're going to have to do is kind of pop this thing like a little popping frog, kind of twitch it a little bit. That's the only way we're going to be able to get any more bites. So that sucks. But when you film these challenges, you know, things happen. You got to adjust. So let's see if we can catch some down here popping it. Oh, I'm trying to eat it. I mean, I know there's got to be some schooled up back here. There usually are. Oh, ho, 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 that was awesome. That's a good one, too. That's the best one yet. Oh, my gosh. Not a bad one. I guess we can still catch him without it wobbling like that. I just popped that bait. I'm gonna tell you it was really helping us today. Cause I'm gonna be honest, if we were at, on any normal day today, I don't think they would be eating this bird as well as they are. I think this wind in this pond is really helping these fish eat this bait because, you know, let's, let's be honest here. That bait right there isn't gonna catch, oh my God. Look what happened, bro. The wing, the wing came off. Oh my gosh. His other flapper came off. All right. <laughs> They're just making it harder and harder on us. Well, there is the fifth fish today. And that was just popping the bait. Now we're in for a whole nother herding. We've lost a leg. I had to amputate a leg. Then we lost a wing. So I'm not taking the wing off though. I don't think that's a good idea, but that's a nice fish. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna have to do with that. There he is. Thank you, bud. Even though you messed up my bait. A little twinkie. Maybe my wing is over here. Let me see if my wing... Is my wing over here? I do not see my wing. Oh my gosh. Cody, what do I do? I think you just gotta keep throwing it. I think I gotta keep throwing it the way it is. Oh. Yeah, dude, I saw it. I was like looking at the bait and I'm like, dude, that thing looks a little <laughs> weird. I'm like, what happened to it now? And the whole wing's gone. I didn't notice the wing being gone at first. I thought you were going to be like, look what happened. The other leg's back. <laughs> I, was looking for the I wish. <laughs> oh, man, dude, that stinks. Can't be destroying this bait like that, man. You know, this is kind of like a review, too. I mean, Fletcher, this is Fletcher's bird, and he's filmed a video on this before, so... You know, I can't give it too much of a hurting, but I mean, I haven't been throwing it that long. We've caught five fish on it and it's already, it's just getting busted up by the minute. I don't know, let's keep on working it in this corner. I think there's some more fish where that one was. You know, when we find these fish in this pond, especially on cloudy days today, they tend to stack up. There's usually a lot of fish in this corner because you have all this wind pushing up in here. So we might be able to get a few more bites.
Oh yeah, there we go. Finally. Mm. There we go. Finally got one on the one winged wonder. Look at that. Not a bad fish. Took us a second. I'm telling you, this is like not looking good as far as the bait going through the water. It just does not look natural at all. Which I mean, it's not really supposed to look natural depending on, depending on what you're trying to imitate. You know, really when you're throwing like a fluke or even a frog or any other top water, you're trying to imitate like an injured bait fish. So we're imitating an injured bird. That's all we're doing. Pretty best. We're gonna see if we can catch one more on this bad boy. Nice. Thank you, bud. Thank you so much. Took us a second to get one to bite that one wing bird. There it goes. You never fish with a chicken popper? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. That's what we're talking about. That's a good fish too. Demolished that bird. We got that perfect cast on that thing right there on that little point. And she got me. All right, buddy. Let me just get you off the hook. I'm gonna get this bird out of your face. Look at that. The one wing wonder. Yeah, yeah. That's a good fish, really long. Skinny, but a long fish. He's right there on that little tiny grassy point and he smunched that thing. Pretty guy. Well, there we go. Nice little blow up. That's our second fish on the injured bird. It's taking us a minute to get those bites, but we're still catching some fish on it, so you can't complain. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. Well, guys, we are ending off the day, but before we end this video, one, I want to ask you guys something. What do you guys want to see me fish with next? I kind of want to start a series on the channel where we just go fishing with weird lures. Drop a comment down below. If you guys want me to do some more crazy videos like this, just fishing with some weird baits, and trying to go catch fish on them. Let me know down below on what bait I should use next. You know, we've done the snake, we've done the rat, we've done the turtle, but that was like two or three years ago. So if you guys wanna see like a newly updated version of those videos, let me know down below as well. Hit the like button, let your boy know. And secondly, I kinda of wanna talk about this bait right here. Give my honest opinion, you know. This is my first time ever fishing with a bird lure. As far as the action, before we started breaking everything on it, it actually was pretty good, man. It had this nice little tight wobble. And right here, these little wings were banging off of this little metal piece. It was making this nice little clacking noise in the water and it attracted those fish over. But all of a sudden, you know, this bait ended up breaking. You know, we ended up breaking one of the legs off, had to pluck the other one off, and then we ended up breaking another one of the wings. So I wouldn't say it's the most durable bait ever, but I was actually impressed with the action. And more importantly, I was impressed that I caught so many fish on this bait. I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect to come out on the water today and catch over five fish on this bait. I think we ended up catching seven or eight, which is just honestly crazy on a bird lure, especially a lure that color. It's just a weird color to throw. I mean, black with some orange on it. I mean, yeah, it makes a little bit of sense for the bird with the orange, but as far as fishing lures go, usually don't throw those colors. But if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and I will catch you guys in the next episode of Kicking Their Best.